I'm taking my freedom, pulling it off the shelf, putting it on my chain, wearing it round my neck. I'm taking my freedom, putting it in my car, wherever I choose to go. It won't take me far. Running late, my golden time at 6.30 is 6.40. Oh, it's 6.40. And I'm at 8. B27, my, my day is B36. And you can only imagine how far I have to walk. Okay, guys, so I finally made it to my hotel room. Guys, the process to get my... I need to look in the lens and not right here. The process to get the car and to get the hotel room was like a lot, but I'm here and I just sprayed down the room with some Lysol spray. So now I'm going to have like this little mini bottle. It's literally done already with all the spraying I did. So now I'm going to go through with some Clorox wipes and just wipe everything down before I unpack and kind of get settled. So I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. So this is me in the room. I'm going to give you guys like a quick tour. So... When you first walk in, this is what you see. To the left is like that mirror. You have snacks. It's like a little, some shots if you want to take shots. You got some cups for ice. Uh, this slides out. In here you have a mini fridge. I literally just wiped everything down, sprayed and wiped everything down. So that's why everything is like open. <laughs> this is, let me close it. So this is how it looks when it's closed. So walk in there, bam. Snacks, mini fridge, closet. I'm gonna unpack my stuff because I kind of like to have my stuff laid out. But I had to clean because I don't know what they got going on. Um, so I wiped that down. Over here is the nightstand, and then I have the bed. Bed over here. Swinging over here. We have a little seating area. And this cool, like, light fixture. And then here we have the flash screen TV. And this TV moves. Let me see if I can put this down on the bed. And see if I can show y'all. Nah, I probably can't show you that way. <laughs> but you can like move this whichever way you want. But right now, we're gonna, she's going to stay right there. <laughs> the window. Another nice stand. And the mirror hello and this is what the room is looking like from this angle we're open it's so cold in here but i like that because i don't like being hot um do i have a view i mean what is even over here to view ha! no i don't have a view <laughs> that's okay i didn't really come here for no view things um there's that and here is the bathroom. Let me turn this light on. Here's the bathroom. So you come in, and this is like a um, barnyard door. So it slides. Oops, you can't even see that. It slides. Shut. And then you light it to open it okay bathroom sink bathroom area and I just wiped this all down sprayed in here it was already really clean though don't get me wrong it's just I just want to do that and then to your right you're gonna have the toilet and it's like kind of like a frosted 
glass situation right here. Oh, here's a toilet situation. Real cute, real cute. So coming out of here, what do we see? So I actually got my room upgraded. By the time I post this video, I'll be out of Dallas. So um, this is, I'm staying at the Kipton, the Pittman Hotel. It's a Kipton chain hotel, whatever. And um, I saw on TikTok when I was doing my research, like if you say um, like a secret code, you get like complimentary, like you spend this thing, you can either get complimentary um, valet parking, complimentary, complimentary room upgrade, whatever, like whatever it is. And then you have something to hold your robe right here. You get that. So um, I told her, I said, look, I saw you guys on TikTok and I saw that you guys do this. So what's in it for me? Like what's in it for me? And um, I was able to get my room upgraded. So prior to this, my room, I didn't have like a tub or anything in it. So I'm probably not gonna use the tub, but I just like that this room is like way more spacious than the room that I originally was gonna get. So that's what I want. I don't wanna feel like crammed in and everything. So I got a bigger room, more bang for my buck. So anyways, I am really, really hungry. Let me turn this around. I am really hungry and exhausted, so I'm gonna try to like get my stuff t taken out of my luggage and like put out and everything, and then try to go find something to eat because I'm really hungry. And then try to see if I could, I can see if I can squeeze in a nap because I am here for the Woman Evolve Conference, and it's not until tomorrow, like Bible study at um, the Potter's House. So I want to go, and we can also pre-register ahead of time there. So I want to go. But I'm tired, like I wanna see if can I at least get like an hour, 45 minutes in because I'm exhausted. So I need to hurry up and get this going because it is 11.38. But I said, let me clean the room first so I can now get settled. So that's what I am doing. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open my suitcase and start unpacking everything. Yo, my luggage, they did my luggage bad. My luggage was kind of dusty. Oh, man. I just need to make sure my perfumes and everything is intact because last time when I went to Jamaica. Like, one of my fragrances cracked. And I don't have time. Is that background too loud? So I need to make sure that we're all good here. Ooh, it looks like something spilled. I don't know. Did this come with a cat? Now, granted, it probably was like this much left in the bottle, but still, like, the wool on my shirt spray up with it. Whatever. Just sit them over there and take out the rest of my stuff. Now, ladies, if you know, you know, this is like that girl it smells so amazing. It literally makes your body look like you're glowing. Like it's like so good. Um, and I got this. This is like one of my favorite scents. And they're always discontinued. And I realized that they had some in um back in season. I never flew to Bath and Body Works as fast in my life. Anyways, I'm about to just go ahead and put some of this stuff up because I want to hurry up so I can get something to eat because I'm hungry. So, talk to you later. Bye. All right, y'all. So, it's a little later. Well, a couple of minutes later. I went ahead and I took my, um, I, had, I had bought some disposable sheets and pillowcases. So, I'm putting that on the bed now. And I just requested to get a new blanket because, no. So, I sprayed already wiped down and now I'm just putting the sheets and the pillowcases on just so I can be good and I ordered me some food to eat so that should be delivered soon too so yeah just to give y'all an update all right guys so I don't think I updated you since I showed you me changing the sheets but I am the sheets are, the sheets are changed so these are disposable all right guys so um yeah the last time we checked in was when i was changing the sheets i didn't feel comfortable using the one with the duvet that they had on the bed because i just felt like it just wasn't 
it wasn't really clean like i just didn't want to use that so i just got a completely new blanket and i put down the disposable sheets myself i don't really think i told you guys my reasoning for being in dallas <sighs> okay so i'm here for the woman evolve conference and my flight came in this morning at around 8 40 and i've been just doing the back and forth like i said i had to get the rental then i had to come check into the hotel and that whole thing was just a whole process and i was exhausted i've been up since four o'clock 4 30 this morning it's just i was just exhausted so anywho i'm here for the conference today is wednesday september 13th and the conference doesn't start until tomorrow but they're having bible study at the potter's house dallas and we can also um, pre-register for the conference, like get all of our documents or whatever I'm guessing situated beforehand so we don't have to like be in that big rush tomorrow because she says it's going to be like over 40,000 women. Like that's insane. So yeah, I'm here for the conference and I posted videos back in, I want to say January or February when I was saying like I just felt like everything was aligning for me and I was starting to really... Um, seek God a little bit more and of course in that journey like I'm still in the journey child but um, in that process like I fell off a lot I backslid a lot like I was just kind of like getting thrown off my path really easily you know in and out in and out in and out so um, but it's just so funny like how you can start off somewhere and like it's like a, an add-on to the journey so I've just been trying to tell myself like one day at a time like this is not like a a right or wrong situation like and i feel like that's me trying to follow religion versus like a relationship with god but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day but i just want to let you guys know like for the rest of these vlogs that you're gonna see like this is what i'm in dallas doing so i'm actually about to get ready to go to the bible study it's now 3 31 you can actually whoa time just flew by so fast it actually starts at four uh no hold on bible study starts at seven but they said for check-in pre-registration is from four to nine so i really want to get there for bible study and check-in so what's a good time to get there so if it start if bible study starts at seven i probably need to aim to be there for five yeah i need to aim to be there for five just to kind of be in the middle. And I already know that's probably cutting it close. Just like, just with the fact that there's going to be like so many people here. I don't know. And on top of that, guys, I came by myself. So I don't know anybody. Like, I'm going to just be by myself. But I'm going in the heart posture that I'm going to come out of like, a knowing that like, I'm going to meet other women that are like minded like me and that are on the same journey. Alter, you can do things on your own. Like, and I kind of have always been that way. Like, if I want to do something as simple as like walking in the park or just going to the mall like if i want to do something and i don't have anyone who can go with me like i would just i'm just gonna go by myself like it's I'm, i never really had an issue of doing that like um so yeah so i kind of the idea of me flying to dallas by myself getting a rental car by myself getting a hotel by myself i feel like it was like exhilarating and like i'm like oh my god like am i really doing this but it doesn't feel real until you actually are doing it and you're here and child the, the rental car place this morning they was about to they was trying to really rile me up well let me not say that they the people they were really really nice it was just i guess like a misunderstanding the car that i originally wanted to get and then when i got there they were like oh because you're under 25 um we can't give that to you unless actually in the contract and like my mindset on it was like okay well why would the reservation accept accept me pretty much when um i put in all my information my demographics and everything like wouldn't it pick that up but uh no so that was the whole thing and then they're like oh these are the cars that we have available and like i don't know i was just i was just my chested eye <laughs> so i had to just like reevaluate and say tasia look as long as you get you a decent safe vehicle that is all that matters we're not here for the glitz and the glams we're here for god and we're here to be genuine and i just don't even and and then another thing too like i'm here alone like i don't want to 
um, call unnecessary attention to myself. It would be one thing if it was me and somebody else or me and a group of friends or me and a group of people. Because it's me, I have to like watch my back and just be careful and just kind of stay low key and stay low profile. So I don't want to do too much anyway. So yeah, so that was that process. So um, it was a lot, but I'm just excited that I'm here now and it's kind of like settled in. So we'll see what tonight brings. We'll see how everything else goes like with the conference itself and just like everything like how it goes with the the process of it all and how God speaks how God how God is going to move in the room and the messages that are going to be relayed like I've just been getting a lot of these same messages for a while that I've just been receiving and I just I, I don't know I'm just like okay God like I know, I know, I know how you move when it comes to certain things. So I don't know. I just want to see like, if it's going to be like that, aha, like, wow, this is just like a whole huge connection. So I'm excited to be here, nervous, but mostly excited and just ready to receive what God has for me. And yeah, so I'm going to stop talking and go ahead, get in the shower and start the process of me getting ready. So Super de duper late. Remember, I told y'all five o'clock. It's four forty-seven. Four forty-seven. So now I guess I'm pushing for like six. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup with you guys, but I'm gonna speed it up because we gotta go. I'm just so glad that you showed me my life. All right, so I have run out of space. So I have to delete some footage. Alright guys, 
guys so I am back from the conference I mean why do I keep saying conference I'm back from Bible study at the Potter's house we had like a, it was like a panelist of people they're talking about business and entrepreneurship and just different things I was really like um, informational and like really motivational um, purpose plan no passion purpose plan like they were talking about that so if you know you know anyways i am exhausted y'all i've been up since 4 a.m today well i need to go and eat something take my makeup off take a shower get cleaned up for bed and go to sleep so i'll catch you guys i guess whenever i pick this camera back up good night mm -hmm.